In this lecture we will look at two methods, hyphenation and justification, that help to make justified text more readable. In the text at the left, some sentences have quite large gaps between the words. These gaps not only make the text more difficult to read, they also don't look professional. If I break up some words by adding hyphens, I can remove some gaps. Hyphenation leads to a more even distribution of words, and so word spacing. To activate automatic hyphenation, I go to Extras, Hyphenate Text. We see that hyphenating the text removed the largest gaps. Let's try to improve this result with justification. I open Styles. To start, I want the hyphens to be placed partially outside of the text frame. In InDesign, this option is called Optical Margin Alignment. Next, let's experiment with space compression. I will allow the program to compress the space between words on some sentences, in order to remove large gaps on other sentences. So it is a trade-off, I sacrifice one thing, in order to gain something else. I think a maximum of 20% space compression works quite well. Lastly, there is glyph compression, in InDesign called, glyph scaling. More than 1% glyph narrowing, and 1% glyph widening, is also in InDesign not recommended, because then it can become noticeable. As we can see, glyph extension helps making the space between words more uniform. If you don't want automatic hyphenation, because of unwanted placed hyphens, you can also hyphenate manually, using soft hyphens. A soft hyphen will not be visible, until the word is broken at the end of a line. I insert a soft hyphen, in the word wonderful. I hold down Ctrl and Shift, and then place the hyphen. You can also find the soft hyphen by going to Insert, Character, Soft Hyphen. When I insert text, and the word wonderful is pushed to the next sentence, the hyphen will disappear. In the next lecture, we will look at kerning and tracking.